In this video, I'm going to go over a quick example of using Python for the FEMAP API. And the purpose of this is just to show kind of what's nice about using Python, um, which is using other Python libraries to help save some time on coding. And I have my Excel open here with the CSV file of X, Y, and Z um, location coordinates. Um, followed by a corresponding pressure valve. And I would have got this data uh, maybe from a colleague or um, another program, you know, from CFD. Um, so what I want to do is take all this data here and uh, throw it into FEMAP to create a, um, a pressure load for my structural model. Um, so I will bring up my um, IDE, which is Spider. And I'll kind of scroll through here. You can see that I'm using two um, Python libraries, both pandas and uh, numpy. And basically I'll use um, pandas to read my CSV file and then numpy um, to kind of uh, arrange some of the, the data um, that it's consuming into um, arrays that I can then use to create a FEMAP um, data surface. So I'll jump over to FEMAP here, and in here I have my um, wing model, which I want to use for my structural model, and my data surface editor here, and I currently have um, no data surface created. So what I'll do is jump back to Spider, and I'll go ahead and run this. And you see some of the um, data was echoed to um, the console here. So the XYZ pressure values. And I see I've echoed a message data surface created. Um, and this was depending on uh, the put method to make sure the return code was OK. Now I'll jump back into FEMAP and I can go ahead and load my data surface that was created. I see all my coordinates um, followed by the uh, pressure values on the side there. So I'm just going to hide that there. And then what I'll do next is go uh, model load um, on surface. And I'm going to use my group of top surfaces hit more, let's highlight those. Okay, so I have those already. And I will create my pressure of one, and then it'll just be scaled by the locations um, and corresponding values from the data surface. So that's created. Um, right now, it you know, you all you see is one, and again, there's the underlying data surface. Um, so what I can do to kind of visualize this is do model um, output from load. I'll just click OK through this. I don't need a title, no big deal. I'll use uh, pressures, which is my load type. And I can see that there was some output created. Let me just switch this to contour, and I have my pressures on face one here. So I can see that my contour and kind of look at the corresponding values here and see that it mapped pretty nicely there. Now, the same thing could be done um, using the native FEMAP API window in VB um, with the read file object. Uh, but that would take a little bit more coding to implement this whole method here. Um, again, what's nice about Python is with using the added in libraries, um, you know, I'm, I'm completing this whole task with, you know, probably under 10 calls. Um, so if I have a ton of uh, Excel files or um, CFD uh, runs at uh, different angles of attack or different scenarios, um, I can really automate this stuff um, to get into my structural model. So thank you guys for watching.